six hours and four minutes. What's in six hours and four minutes? That's how long until winter break. What if people aren't watching at 8-11? Then it's the BMB morning announcements, and today we're talking about the winter concerts. And also, veteran Ryan Shannon is in the studio. Today is Friday, December 21st, day five. Please rise for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This past Tuesday, the MEPA Music Department held a winter concert season with the second night of the winter concerts, featuring the mixed chorus, symphonic band, concert choir, and a cappella choir. If you missed the second winter concert or the first, you could see all the excitement on the BB YouTube channel. Ryan Shannon, a wounded Navy veteran who had received a new home for money raised by the senior class during Battle of the Classes, the Flag Field of Honor, and on online charitable donations this fall. Wednesday, Shannon came to Mepham to visit with the seniors. Shannon's visit included a breakfast with all the seniors and sitting down with each of the senior government classes. To learn a bit more about Shannon and Building Homes for Heroes, the organization the senior class partnered with, Robert Caminetti filed this report. On October 28th, the Mepham senior class gathered in front of Mepham to set up the fourth annual flag field of honor. Each flag bought goes to Home for Heroes. They usually take the flags down on the first week of December, but decided to keep them up for Ryan Shannon's visit. We helped Ryan Shannon by creating a web page that we could share to friends and family to raise money. We did the 11-11 campaign, which is you challenge 11 people to donate $11. Navy Petty Officer First Class, who was injured during his service. His story inspired Ms. Dennis and Mr. Patton, who decided that he would be their senior volunteering project. Mepham High School selected him because we are working with building homes for heroes. And because Ryan served our country uh, with such honor, we decided that the Mepham community was going to help give him and his family his home. Uh, we decided to help Ryan Shannon because he was an injured war veteran and uh, he needed a home. We wanted to make a difference. Shannon came to Mepham this week to say thank you to the senior class for all of their efforts like the flag field of honor and the battle of the classes that combined to buy him and his family a home. For BMB, I'm Rob Caminiti. And now in a BMB exclusive, Ryan Shannon sits down with our very own Spencer Madness for this week's Around Campus. I'm Spencer Mattis, and this week on Around Campus, we sit down with retired Navy Petty Officer Ryan Shannon. If Ryan's name sounds familiar to you, it's because we've heard it a lot here at MEPM this semester, as Ryan and his family were adopted by the senior class as the service learning project this year. MEPM seniors have been raising money to help get Ryan a home, and just this past week, Ryan and his family got that home, and now he's here. So welcome, Ryan. Thank you. I guess the first question has to be, you got your home last week, and now you're here. Shouldn't you be unpacking? <laughs> I, I promise I've been unpacking. Um, we just finished the last box in our house uh, a couple days ago. We were all excited and then realized we had a garage full of boxes still. So uh, <laughs> kind of left that to my wife while I came and hung out with you guys. It's a lot of boxes. Yeah. Uh, Why did you want to come here to Mepham this week? I think it's important. My story, um, it kind of plays into... There's, there's a little bit of relatability to, to you guys, but at the same time, I wanted to just show my thanks and kind of be more real than just some guy you guys raised a whole lot of money for. Yeah. And, uh, but overall, the, the, big, the big thing is just to, just to say thanks to everybody who, who went out and helped the community, everything else, and uh, we couldn't be more grateful. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what happened to you? Oh, How are you wounded? What didn't happen? I, one of them dudes that got, like, luck is just not for me, I guess. I guess I didn't get any when I was born. <laughs> but, um, so I have, uh, I have PTSD. Uh, with that, there's depression and sleep deprivation and anxiety. Um, I did get shot. I have a uh, wound in my, my ankle from that. Um, traumatic brain injury from a different injury, <clears throat> but all of them mixed together, it's lethal concoction, really. Yeah. How has building homes for heroes changed your life? It's, there's no way, with, with medical retirement, you aren't expecting something like that, so um, your finances and things like that take a real hit. There's absolutely no way me and my family would be able to own a home without them 
probably for another 10 years or so. So it's they helped me, and you guys helped me with all the money you raised, but it's not just me. My kids don't have to move from school to school anymore. My wife and I, um, we get to call that place home and actually know what that means. There's been the last 10 years of my life, I'd say home, let's go home, but is it the Pearl Harbor home or the home here or the home here? Where's it going to be next week? Um, now I know where it's at and I know it's not going anywhere. So that's a huge deal for us. And uh, like I said, it's, li it's life changing. It doesn't happen to people. So I'm still kind of shocked about everything. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Uh, what message do you have for the juniors and sophomores and freshmen here who aren't a part of the project but will be a part of future projects? Yeah, like I, I'd say, like, like I just expressed, you're not just helping me, that, that you guys didn't just help me, there's my, my parents get to be grandparents again and this and that, so it may seem like something small, $10,000, $20,000 doesn't seem like a lot, but that's going towards this, your, your impact can be so much greater than what you think it is, and um, just like the military, the teamwork, getting together, being a part of it as one, you can really make a change for not just me, but all these other people around you, so... I'd say get involved and run with it. Find something you believe in. Yeah. So there you have it. Thanks to Ryan, and it's been great getting to sit down with you and learn your story. We Thank wish you nothing but the best in the future and, your, and for your family and your new home. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thank you. Thanks, Spencer. Moments like these demonstrate that simple acts of kindness can have a profound impact on many people. Thank you to everyone involved in building a home for the hero. Ryan Shannon, we thank you for your service. Lots of teams were in action yesterday, with the girls' basketball team took on Herricks, and the boys' basketball team also took on Herricks. Tonight, the Pirate Wrestlers take on Valley's Dream Central, and tomorrow the boys' basketball team is against Wontaw. To take a deeper look at Mepham's winter sports teams, check out the final B&B Sports Talk of 2018, where Rocco and Brandon dive deep on the winter sports season at b, &B on the YouTube channel. Now, for your weather forecast, it's B&B's Chief Meteorologist, Mike the Storm Daniels. Hey Mepham, happy Friday. Hope you all had a great week. Now let's take a look at your weekend forecast. For today, expect heavy rain all day with gusty winds with up to 3 inches of rain expected with it being well above average for this time of year temperature wise with a high temperature right around 60 degrees. For tonight, expect rain to start tapering off with a low temperature in the mid 40s. For Saturday, expect mostly cloudy skies with breaks of sun towards the afternoon hours with a high temperature in the lower 40s. For Saturday night, expect clear skies with a low temperature in the mid 30s. For Sunday, expect partly cloudy skies with a high temperature in the lower to mid 40s. So no worries, Mr. Stein, your plane will be good to take off. For Sunday night, expect a low temperature in the lower 30s and clear skies. For your winter break, there's a chance of rain or snow on or around Christmas time. And for your New Year's forecast, there's potential for a snowstorm then, but it is way too early to tell if that will come for that. And finally, I would like to say that I got accepted to, and I will be attending SUNY Oswego to study meteorology this upcoming fall. Have a wonderful holiday season, everyone. We may have a day left at school until 2.15, but our very own Casey Farr looks at what people are doing to get ready for the winter break. Ah, uh, winter break. It's finally here, giving students and faculty a well-deserved week off to end the calendar year. And some sound ready for this break. It wouldn't be. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm pretty ready. I feel like I've been working hard. I feel like I deserve it. So. Yes, because I got a chance to relax and get away from all homework. To some, it may just be a week to binge watch their favorite Netflix show, but to others, this break is a time to visit with family and friends. Mel Senra, an 11th grade student here at Mepham, talked about what she does during the break with her family and friends. We like do an exchange gift thing, like Secret Santas, and we also do a lot of baking and cooking. Uh, we have like this kind of like ugly sweater party too, with my friends, that I do separate with my family. Overall, the student and faculty here at Mepham seem pretty excited for this time off. The question is, who needs it more? The answer may surprise you. I guess I pick teachers. I think that teachers probably deserve it more. I believe that each individual person, whether you're a teacher, a student, an administrator, everybody needs a break at some point. This winter break officially starts the 21st at 2.15 and comes to an end on Wednesday, January 2nd. 
From BNB, I'm Casey Farr. Now for today's quote of the day, among its other benefits, giving liberates the soul of the giver. Finally, AJ, this is our final BNB morning announcements of 2018. And what a year it's been, Michelle. So from all of us, the BNB family, to all of yours, we hope you have a happy holiday. And we'll see you in the new year. Have a great day, Mepham, and have a great break. Yeah. Yeah.